And then what to do uh, in the tragic event if something does happen. Okay. Last question. A lot of times people would look and say, federal government, the U.S. Attorney's Justice Department is involved in school safety. That's unique. What's your piece of advice to other federal and state level agency heads on how they can uh, reach out or should they reach out whom, uh, for those who may not be doing the positive things that have been done here in South Carolina for 19 years? Well, they absolutely should be reaching out. I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, my federal counterparts across the country uh, are doing just that. As I indicated, we, we do have funding that is uh, given to us by the Department of Justice to reach out into the communities. And we're allowed to, um, you know, with, with some oversight, to, to make sure that that uh, money is spent in certain areas. And, and one area we think is important here in South Carolina is that relationship between educators and law enforcement. Um, you know, as, uh, as you've chronicled uh, throughout your uh, travels around the country, it's certainly something that can happen anywhere, and, and it has happened here in South Carolina. Uh, you know, the, your question is, should folks be reaching out? Absolutely, they should be, because uh, thanks to our reaching out, thanks to our efforts of being proactive and reaching out to educators, you know, we've had, um, you know, thankfully some, some, uh, some good experience with some tragic situations. Uh, two years ago, Ryan Schellenberger was a, a, a high school student in Chesterfield County. Uh, he uh, uh, was discovered to be uh, involved in a plot to blow up his high school. Uh, you know, we have very good relationships with the local law enforcement along with the Department of Education, and we were able to come in and work very closely uh, with individuals in, in uh, you know, those different capacities uh, and bring in the FBI, the ATF, and work that case. Uh, not only to take care of that situation, in fact, Mr. Schellenberger ultimately pled guilty, he's now in federal prison, but to deal with the rumor and the, uh, um, you know, co uh, community concern, all the swirling information uh, that was able to be uh, basically uh, put down to a reasonable level, something that could be managed, and, and it was well done. Recently, we had a uh, uh, shooting uh, at a Myrtle Beach High School where a student uh, basically attacked a school resource officer, and the uh, resource officer had to fire back. Um, again, because of our uh, good relationships, the planning that we've put out, uh, the, uh, the message that we've sent that local law enforcement and educators can reach into our office for resources, we were able to assist in that situation. So, you know, I, I'm hopeful that others across the country, uh, you know, regardless of their whether they're federal law enforcement, whether they're educators, whether they're state or local uh, law enforcement, I hope that they're reaching out to each other and uh, identifying these problems, recognizing that it can certainly happen, and uh, preparing for it and uh, preparing to manage it. I can certainly say from experience, having been involved early on here, that South Carolina has been a, not only a leader in this, uh, from the U.S. Attorney's Office, but also sustainability. You've done this consistently for 19 years with focus on safe schools, and that's quite commendable. And as you said, your partners and law enforcement coordinators and U.S. Attorney's Offices are a great resource across the country. I've personally worked with them, and I'd encourage everyone who's watching to, uh, to reach out and, and tap into that resource. It's a good group of people who are very committed and, and have done a lot of good things informing partnerships. Kevin, thank you very much. This is Ken Trump at schoolsecurityblog.com.